as I got. Because listen to me when I tell you, I'm going to show you some really good technique. I'm not one of those guys that kind of pulls his punches and don't share. I want us to be the best wrestlers you can be because when you're good, you make me better. You make me want to improve. So I'm going to give you the best stuff I have. But as good as the technique is and as much as I believe in it, I want you to get two things from me. Because without those two things, the technique won't matter one bit. I want you to work your nuts off. That will get you further than anything else you can do in life. When you take these shoes off and put them up one day, high crotch won't mean a hill of beans. Far ankle scrambles, what we're about to do won't matter. If you far ankle scramble somebody in the park, they'll probably take you to jail. Don't do that. But being able to work hard and not being scared of it will follow you forever and you'll open up every door you ever want to open up. Whether it's owning your own business, whether it's being NCAA champion. When you get that work ethic inside of you and it becomes who you are, the sky's the limit. There is no limit. So I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing I did the last group, compete. Compete. That's what wrestling's all about, right? Learning to compete, but you normally compete with the guy standing across from you. Compete with yourself. So think about how hard you worked last session. You worked pretty hard, right? Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? So let's do more. Far ankle, we're gonna do some uh, stuff we've kind of been working on and playing with. Uh, we might get into like winter seatbelt, cartwheel stuff. Uh, it's pretty fun, but I'm telling you, it is what's keeping me competitive. Like when I wrestle some of the guys, I'm slow and old. I can't high crotch anybody anymore. They're like, go. But I can get to a far ankle, I can beat a lot of dudes. Come here, Russ. So, all we're gonna do is just start referee's position, face and butt. I'm gonna grab his far ankle. Is that his far ankle? Don't do it. we will pick on you. Don't do it. Far ankle. And we're gonna go with like the most basic thing first. It's gonna end up being our setup. I call it lazy man scramble because there's not much to it. So I'm gonna take my inside knee as far as I can across. My goal is to use it like a trip. I'm gonna bring my knee outside. Watch this little hop. Outside. As soon as I get my knee outside, I'm gonna make this thing windshield wiper. See how this starts turning his hip? It pulls it away from the angle he wants to rotate. This is a big important step on that heel across, like figure four. Now as I drive him down, my hips are going to start to rotate. My hips rotate, my knees go up. Here's a mistake you're going to make because you think, oh, this is simple. I've seen this before. Where's my butt? You can see it. Where's my butt? Off the mat. If my butt's off the mat, all he's got to do is pull the rotate. Oh. Okay. This one. And we end up back 50-50. My butt has to be on the mat. Look at what my knee's doing. It's going tight to my face. And I put, how much you squat, Rocker? 500 pounds? 530? Do that 530 pound squat. Get those feet in the mat. Squat them off. Start turning back in. Then put your own flavor on it. Wherever you want to go. Your leg right or left. Turn. Hand turn. Call. Go to somewhere you got an advantage. One more time. Do you need to see it rough? You see it? Come here, Bert. Far ankle. Grab mine. Knee hop. Bring knee to knee. Knee goes outside. Use it as a trip. Is that important, Pots? Absolutely. Isolate that far hip. Change his angle. Start slow to get the rotation. As he falls, my hips rotate and I scoop my butt away. A lot of times he'll come right up and you got an easy score. If you get used to putting this on his butt and keeping it there, it leads to really good stuff. Questions? Let's go compete.